Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, we have our BoxyCharm unboxing. Uh, if you guys have been with us for a long time, you know I've always done Ipsy versus Ipsy with my mom's Ipsy and my Ipsy, I compare the two. Well, she's recently joined BoxyCharm as well, so now I guess it's Boxy versus Boxy, I don't know, whatever. I haven't named this one anything special, it's just the BoxyCharm review, but. For the month of July, of course, it was a Lux month. We've been Lux members now for about two years. Mom is still a standard member. I received this box here at the beginning of the month and I was waiting for moms. Moms uh, came a little while ago and then they were over uh, at our house. Oh, I'm sorry, no, we went over to their house for Father's Day and that's when I picked up her box. So uh, I, it's taken me a couple days to film it. But honestly, uh, when I when my boxy charm arrived, I mean, you can tell. I'm just gonna hold them up. You can definitely tell mine is bigger, like you can see it. However, this didn't appear to be a Lux to me. Like when it showed up, I was like, it's a Lux, right? Like it's on Nikki's credit card. And so I was like, it's, it, we were charged for a Lux. And Nikki was like, yeah, we were charged. I honest to God was like, that's a standard size. Like it's a, it's the tiniest Lux that we've ever gotten. I don't have high hopes for it. More or less what happened was I was like, I feel like we got sent the wrong box. Um, and then stupidly we didn't open it because I was like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a standard, right? It's too small. So Nikki just reached out and was like, hey, I think we received the wrong box. They were like, oh, I'm sorry. Take pictures of the five products you got, send us that with your packing slip, we'll fix it. So Nikki, trying to keep from spoiling anything for me for this video, he opened it up and was like, no, there's eight products in here. And I was like, Ugh. I do know we did not get a palette. Not happy with that. I don't know what to expect. It's a lot of backstory. I was, I'm was, i very worried about this box. I'm, I'm, I just, I don't have high hopes for it. Based on what Nikki, his like slight hints that he gave me about what's in the box, he was like, yeah, I don't think you're gonna like this one very much. So I will say I've actually been very happy with BoxyCharm for like the past several months. I don't really have many complaints, but last year, the only box that I recall hating was also a Lux and it was around this time. It was either the spring or the summer box. I'm thinking it was the summer box. So I don't know if it's just like this time of year, they just like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I don't I don't know what to expect, but I don't have high hopes. That's what I'm going into it with. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start with mom's box. Like I said, hers is the standard. I don't know what to expect for hers either, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let us, let us look in here. Okay, so first things first, we have this Jekka Black Hydrate Primer. It is uh, vegan and cruelty free, but it seems like it's pretty small size. Not terrible. Um, I actually, my skin gets really dry during the winter, of course, but I've actually noticed uh, during the summer, I do better when I have hydrating primers. I don't know why, I don't know if it, it or hydrating moisturizers, period. I don't know if it keeps like, me from overproducing sweat, trying to keep my skin moisturized. I don't I don't know what it is. I, that doesn't make sense. In fairness, I don't really go outside that much. Like I'm more of an indoor cat, so I just kind of stay in the indoors. But I do actually like how hydrating primers work for me over the summer. So not a bad product. product. Uh, is a little bit tiny. I don't know if my mom's gonna use it. She doesn't, she doesn't really use primers like that. Like she does, but not really. We've talked about it before. She uses like mineral makeup, so I think She's kind of funny about the primers that she uses. I, I don't know. Doesn't seem like a bad product for me. I don't know if she's gonna use it. Let's, yep. Next thing we have is from Vava Pink Lash Prime. Oh, so we got a eyelash primer as well. So we've got a face primer and an eyelash primer. I actually like eyelash primers and we don't see them very frequently. So I like that a lot. Um, and I think, I think my mom will use it too. Um, it is the Luna Magic Vava Pink Lash Primer. Oh, it's pink. Oh, they weren't kidding. They said, yeah, it's pink. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I like that. It's, a, it's a, a product that we don't normally see, like a new kind of exciting product. Um, and it's personally something that I don't, I don't buy for myself very often and I don't get a lot of. So yeah, I think that's a good product and I think my mom will use it. All right, next thing we have is from Able Skincare London. It is a hyaluronic acid age recovery night cream. I love most things with hyaluronic acid. Um, I think my mom will use it and uh, I like night creams as well. So yeah, I think that's a good product. And knowing what I know about skincare, I'm guessing this is probably a pretty pricey product, like 60, 70 bucks if I had to guess. So yeah. All right, next thing we have is from Glam Glow. This is the Super Cleanse uh, Clearing Cle Cream to Foam Cleanser. And I actually have a cleanser from Glam Glow that I love. 
great size. It's a great product. I think I think my mom will like it a lot. I haven't used this particular formula, but I like Glam Glow as a brand. I've used some of their other skincare products besides cleansers as well, some masks, some, I think they, I have like a, maybe a moisturizer from them as well. Like it a lot. So yeah, great product there. Um, I'm guessing that's probably like a $30 product as well. So yeah, I mean, overall, just based off these products, not really a makeup heavy month and maybe that's gonna reflect in my box as well, but uh, not bad products. I will say the last thing mom has is some sort of a palette. It is from Touch and Soul. And I actually am a huge fan of Touch and Soul. I've used a lot of their primers and their kind of skincare type stuff. They do like a lot of glow oils and um, a lot of uh, pore, pore primers that I really like. Get out of my stuff. No, bruh. It's like every time, every time. So Rocky is, I, I love her very much. She wants to be in the same room with like whoever is doing what, normally me because I'm the favorite. But she normally wants to be in the room. And, but the issue is every time she's in the room while I'm doing something like this, she just digs. Like she's just like, there's a bag, I'm gonna go in the bag. There's a box, I'm gonna go in the box. I'm gonna look out the window and I'm gonna like, just, I'm, she's, I, she just causes chaos. I love her and she's very sweet, but she's also highly destructive. This honestly, I may be wrong. It looks like it's gonna be a face palette, but I, I might be wrong, I don't know. Nah, I wasn't, I was right. Really pretty though, gorgeous, very gorgeous. Um, it looks like it's just a highlight palette, probably could use it as shadow as well. Um, but you get like a wide variety of colors. Um, it is one of those, I have a love-hate relationship with these kind of palettes where there's like no dividers. It's just kind of like, oh, you can just swirl your brush around. And I honestly have found the only way I can use palettes like this is if I do just kind of like, I mean, you can kind of stay in this area or stay in this area, but normally I just like to like swirl all the colors around and it makes like a really nice mix, but gorgeous palette. I think my mom's gonna really like that too. So yeah, uh, mom's box, pretty decent, not too terrible. Uh, not the best box we've seen, but not a bad box. And I think she'll get a use out of it. Oh, sh oh. Oh, I was uh, I was off on my skincare judgment. Apparently it's one of the higher end skincares. First things first, Glam Glow Cleanser, $32. Sounds about right. Um, the Hyaluronic Acid Age Recovery Night Cream, apparently Able Skincare is pricey because that is $114. Wild, wild prices, but. All right, next thing we have is the Jekka Black Primer for $20. We have the Touch and Soul uh, Glodient makeup palette for $34. And then we have the Vava Voom pink lash primer for $25, which gives the bag a total $225 price tag. Uh, like I said, not bad. Obviously, I always say that I feel like these kind of prices are really overly inflated. Like you, it would be a cold day in hell before I ever paid $115 for a any sort of skincare product, even if I loved it, unless it was literally going to like completely change the way my face looked. Um, so yeah, uh, overall decent box. I'm a little worried about what mine's gonna look like. All right, without further ado, let's see what's happening with the Lux this month. I got tape on my fingers trying to open that palette up. All right, skincare heavy month, can already tell. Not a bad thing. I, I don't like not seeing any sort of a, like a palette, but we will persist. All right, let's jump in. First thing we have is from NYS. It is a pair of sunglasses. I actually might've chosen these. I did chew these. Okay, so I remember, I don't remember exactly what I chose. I do remember my choices. I was like worried. I was worried about what we were gonna see with this box. However, these sunglasses are freaking cute, okay? Like they're, I just love, I love. And I, it's been a while since I've gotten new sunglasses because like I said, I'm not really an outdoor cat. I'm like an indoor cat, but I'm trying to see myself in the reflection of the camera. I like them. I like, I have a very round face and because I have a very round face, I typically go for like bigger sunglasses like this anyway. Um, I will say the reason I don't normally wear sunglasses is because uh, if I'm wearing <laughs> If I'm wearing sunglasses, I normally get like the little indents on my nose. If I wear them for too long, my, my makeup like peels off. So I um, I just typically avoid them because I don't like dealing with that. So I'll just be like, I'll go blind, it's fine. However, uh, it is the 4th of July this weekend. And um, on Saturday, we're going over to my parents' house because they have a pool. And I probably won't wear makeup. So I'll probably wear them then. So yeah, I'm, exci I'm excited to, I actually really like these. These are cute. Would have preferred a palette. I do like them though. 
All right, I'm pretty sure this is the other thing I chose. This is the Brow Styler from Benefit Cosmetics. I like Benefit's brow products. I will say I have found um, brands that I feel like do a really good job of giving you high quality brows without the price tag. Uh, Morphe does a pretty decent uh, eye, uh, eyebrow brush. I mean, eyebrow pencil, jeez. Uh, eyebrow pencil. And then um, I actually really like LA Girl. I think it's LA Girls. They do a really good one. That's like, they're both like $6, super cheap. Um, NYX is pretty decent as well. And a lot of times they're like buy one, get one free or they're like, you know, buy two, get one free. So you can get them on sale and theirs only like $11. So I've, I've kind of started steering away from buying like Benefit and Anastasia Beverly Hills because like, I just feel like I can find brow pencils that are more affordable, that are basically the same quality. That being said, um, I do like Benefit a lot. And this one is like a dual ended one. It comes with the, um, the pencil and it also comes with like a powder on the other end of it. It's like a dual, it's like a, I'll, I'll just open it up. Why don't I just open it up? Yeah, so on the top you got like the nice little pencil part and it's like kind of one of the thicker pencils where you can create more of like the, the lines. And then on the bottom, it's like a little filler powder, like a little, it's like litter, it's like, it's like a dust like falling everywhere, so. Um, yeah, I haven't actually tried this particular one before and that was kind of also why I was like, I'll try it. And I got it in the shade neutral medium brown, but they had all like their five shades that they offer or whatever. So yeah, those are those are the two products I believe that I chose. I think I only got to choose two, but. All right, next thing we have is from Elemis. This is a super food AHA glow cleansing butter. Yeah, so you're going to massage the butter into dry skin and rinse with warm water, or you can wipe it off with a cotton pad is what it looks like it says, but it is meant to just clean your skin and also give it a healthy glow. I like Elemis a lot as a brand, um, and I'm guessing that this probably has a hefty price tag on it as well. I'm guessing probably close to like 80 bucks. If I, ha if I had to put a price tag on it, I'm gonna say that's probably like an $80 one. Next thing we have is from Avant, and I know Avant has hefty price tags attached to each of their products. So this is a hyaluronic lactic vitamin B3 mint glyc <laughs> glycosterin collagen. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, it's a lip serum. Oh, okay, so you can leave it on. So you can either use it under a lip product or you can do it by itself, um, but it is not, you don't have to wipe it off or anything like that. A lot of times we get lip masks where you have to like let it sit. And I'm gonna be honest, when I get a lip mask, I very rarely use it because I'm just too lazy to think about it. Like, even if I do a face mask, I normally don't do a lip mask because I'm like, well then I can't like drink anything. I can't drink water or anything because it's just, you just like sit there and I, I don't know. But I do like the fact that you can leave it on under like your lipstick and stuff like that. I'm more likely to think about it and use it that way. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure this is like a $75 product minimum because I, I haven't seen an Avant product that doesn't have like a hundred dollar price tag on it. I just don't know their lip product. So, but I'm guessing it's a pricey product. All right. Next thing we have is from Earth Harbor. This is a seaweed and jasmine hair revive elixir and it is meant to fortify nourish and revive dull or damaged hair i all i can say is because i've started choosing more hair products in prod in boxes or reviewing them higher i've started seeing a lot more of them i'm actually really grateful for it because we've talked about multiple times throughout this year i'm having a lot of struggles with my hair right now and so getting these products and being able to test them i found a lot of products that i like the christopher robin hair scrub that i think i got in my my ipsy plus maybe a couple months ago i love it it's it, it, one of the best things that i've used uh i've had it for like a month and i'm almost out of it and i'm very sad about that so i've liked getting hair products a lot and i didn't really see them a lot in the past so i'm, I'm actually very happy with that um, but you're supposed to smooth five to 15 generous drops on your hair ends and strands, keep it in for as long as, need, as needed, or at least 10 minutes before washing it out. For a scalp treatment, you can put five to 10 drops on your root for three minutes and leave in or wash it out. Cool, I'll probably be testing that out pretty quickly, cause yeah. But I don't I don't think I've tried anything from Earth Harbor, um, but I'm excited too. So yeah, another good product. Um, and it is nice to see hair products, like I said, because I'm, I'm in need of them right now, so. Next thing we have is from Dr. Brandt. I like Dr. Brandt a lot as a brand. And this is the hashtag say I love you with pride. It is a trippy, triple antioxidant face uh, cream. Visibly smooths wrinkles and helps prevent signs of aging. Um, I will say great product. I feel like the packaging was just one of, you know, like it's kind of a joke. We're just like during June, everybody is like pride. And it, it does feel gimmicky. 
I love to see it. I wanna see companies be like, yes, we support everybody because absolutely pride is an amazing thing to celebrate and it needs to be celebrated all year though. It's just like, it's, like I feel like companies, like big companies just like cram it into June and they're just like pride month. And then it like goes away. Like I, that's why I like to see in like my Ipsy Plus, I, we got a palette that was from a queer owned brand like th that is like they're very open about the fact that they're a queer owned brand it's not just like hey during june we're pride like <laughs> i don't know i think other people feel that way too but i don't know maybe i'm just being an asshole oh it's their standard orgasm blush you know honestly i have a lot of like sample sizes from the orgasm blush which is like like one of the big you know one of the things that that nars is known for um and i really like it it's a beautiful shade um and i don't have a full size so i'm like oh, nice to see yeah pretty blush I mean, once again, pretty standard though. It's like, you know, it's like like their key thing. It's like the MAC red lipstick. It's like everybody knows it, so. And then the final thing we have is from AMNH Skincare. These are Starry Collagen Gel Eye Pads meant for anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, and reducing dark circles. And you get five of them, five sets of them. So yeah, definitely skincare heavy. I mean, the only makeup I got was brow pencil and the NARS blush. I was afraid that the box was gonna be worse, honestly, based on the fact that it was so small and Nikki was like, I mean, there's no palette, but it's not bad. I think it's gonna be, have a, a pretty high price tag as well, so. Okay, so uh, let us see what our price breakdown is. Oh, okay, so first thing we have is the Elemis Superfood uh, AHA Glow Butter Cleanser. Surprisingly enough, only $38 value. Definitely lower than I thought, but I do like Elemis and I'm excited to test it out. Uh, next thing we have is the NARS blush, which is a $30 value. We have our Benefit Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil Duo, which is a $34 value. We have, I hate that I was right. Ugh. We have the Avant Skincare Hyaluronic Acid Replen Replenishing Lip Serum, which is a $122 value. And it I know, I don't know why. I know every time I see an Avant product, it's gonna be over $100, but I'm like, it's lip oil. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be 80, right? No, wrong. Add 50 more dollars for that. Okay, uh, next we have the NYS Clarkson Avenue sunglasses for $40. We have the, what the hell am I looking for? The Earth Harbor Sunstone Hair Revive Elixir for $30. We have our Dr. Brandt Triple Antioxidant Face Cream for $64. And we have the gel eye pads for $32, which gives us a total of $390. For a $50 box, um, not, not a bad value. You can't say it's not worth it. I mean, I've got a ton of skincare in this guy, so I can't be too upset with it. I will say I'm a little sad to see that there wasn't more makeup in it. I do really um, appreciate that normally Boxy is always, Boxy pretty much always gives us a palette. For somebody like me, that's kind of what I want to see, but I do understand like every box is probably not gonna have a palette in it. So I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I just, it's not my favorite. What did you guys think about J July? No, June, what the, what the, June, right? This is the June box. We're going into July. I don't know. Yeah, so how did you guys feel out June? Uh, did you get the Lux? Did you get the standard? What did you think? Did you think the Lux was worth it? I don't know. I'm not gonna complain. A lot of high priced skincare products, uh, but it's not my favorite. Okay. I hope you guys are all, oh, well, if you liked us, that helps. Other than that, I hope you guys are, <laughs> Nikki's just standing back here like, this is, I got a lot of editing to do. Yeah, buddy, earn your keep. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this video now, okay. Um, if you guys uh, like us, definitely give us a thumbs up. If you like us as a channel, subscribe, because I'm chaotic and I need all sorts of validation possible. And a, and a new subscriber always makes me feel a little tingly in my heart. A little, a little tingle in my heart. I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist. <laughs>